Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video where we are trying cowboy boots among some other things but mainly cowboy boots I was very excited about them I really wanted a good pair and I figured I have pretty white calves so um, I thought I'd just order a bunch and see which fit and which are nice and by the way all of them are affordable all of them are made of imitation leather so no real leather and what i think about them unfortunately a lot of them i did try on and they didn't fit my calves or even my feet so i'll tell you a little bit more about that as well but before we get into it thank you so much for clicking on my video my name is cecile i live in the netherlands and i like to upload videos on makeup and fashion every now and then <laughs> pretty often actually so please subscribe if that sounds interesting to you i'm trying something new today where i'm wearing a t-shirt underneath a very girly dress and i'm not totally convinced about it yet also i'm not feeling so great so if i sound very nasally and if i lose track of stuff it's because i actually have the flu but i felt a little bit better today so i wanted to film this and if you're seeing this i have two of these giant boxes and this bag um, with eight pairs of shoes and yeah I really want to return them so they're not cluttering my room this much <laughs> also I'm trying a new setting I'm sitting on the floor I thought it would be fun <laughs> let me know what you think about it so yeah I'll show you the ones that I do fit I'll show you in the length waist cutaway what they look like with this dress because honestly if this is not the dress that is made for cowboy boots then I don't know what is but yeah Let's get right into it. So this first bag over here comes from H&M. I didn't order there and at Zalando. And H&M sells a lot of brands these days. So they actually sold their own brand, of course, also Monkey. And um, what's new for me was that they sold Public Desire which is a brand I own a pair of shoes from. They're pretty affordable, they're not the best quality, but I still wanted to give them a try. So these are the ones that I got. And you know, I wasn't sure what type of cowboy boot I wanted and also which ones were going to fit. So I tried a bunch of different patterns, but I've seen these more often. I know I've also seen a very similar pair by New Look on Zalando. They're black with white stitching, which I thought was really nice. They do have a very sharp point with the toes and that's actually the problem area for me. So I also have quite wide feet, which usually is not a big issue. But with these, I could barely fit my foot in them. And then also the boot area, like the leg area was just a little bit too tight. But honestly, out of all of these, I think these fit the widest. So. If you're like me and you're a little bit, you have a little bit more muscular legs and you're also a little bit overweight, then I'm afraid. My conclusion, I'll just tell you now, is that cowboy boots are actually not as generously sized as I thought they were. Um, they look that way, but that's mainly because they're brought from the way down to the way up instead of only at the calf area. So that means that in the calf area, they're not actually that much wider than regular boots. That's what I discovered. The exception are definitely these. So I think if you have a calf that's a little bit wider, but not like as wide as mine, I'll, I'll just show you my leg. So this is what I'm working with. If you're a little bit smaller than that, I think you'll actually fit in these. But just keep in mind that the toe area is also very narrow. So I bought these in a size uh, UK 8, which I think is a 41. And I am a size 41, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> but I do think these are very pretty. I like them, the heel is not too high, it's very sturdy. I like these. Also from H&M, but from their own brand, I thought I'd try a pair of more classic cowboy boots. So in this beige color. So I got these, they're in a faux um velour or faux suede i should say these were also in a uk 8 or 41 these are definitely smaller in the leg area i think you can even see it oh actually when i'm holding them together it doesn't really there doesn't really seem to be that much of a difference but i swear that these fit a little bit more loosely anyway i couldn't get these this i think these are just a little bit more stiff 
I couldn't get these nearly as high on my leg as the other ones and because of that I also couldn't put them on because there's no zipper. And that's definitely a downside to a lot of these boots that they don't have a little zipper over here so you have to pull them up the top to get the heel on and sometimes they have this sturdy bit over here and it it folds inwards and it's just nearly impossible to get them on even if you have smaller uh, legs so I just want to make note of that this one does not have that zipper I think it's fine because they're a little bit broader here but just know that it might be a little bit of a pain to get them off and on I do really like this color I like this shoe style a little bit more it's a little bit less long it is still quite pointy but it feels a little bit more uh, it feels a little bit less extreme and i think i like these better but overall they're quite basic and they're quite long actually the public desire ones are a little bit longer even also my boyfriend mentioned that these heels look a little bit more uncomfortable to walk on he thought that I might not be able to. I'm sure I would be, but just letting you know, there's a very steep edge, which of course signifies a cowboy boot, but this one has it. Overall, the heels are very low. Though. So then we move on to the pairs that I got from Zalando. I'll show you these next. So I got two pairs from MTNG. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I love this brand because it's quite affordable, but the quality seems to be really good, but it's all vegan leather and they have really nice styles. So the ones that were definitely a hit were these that I used in the thumbnail. So these were, I bought two pairs of this brand and these were the more expensive ones. So they're this, I'm not even sure if it's a lavender or a pink, it's somewhere in between, but it's definitely metallic. I love this toe shape they feel very comfortable they're slightly padded as well and they're definitely a lot lower so these fit like right below where my calf actually starts and therefore i fit them <laughs> they also don't have any zippers but that's no problem with these for some reason um, they do have the loops so you can really pull them up they fit really comfortable uh, comfortably they're size 41 and i think these are really really nice I'm still not sure if I'm keeping them because having tried all these shoes, I realized that even though these are very fun, they're actually not the type of cowboy boot that I'm looking for. And I'm trying to limit myself and only buy one pair. So I really want a white one or a brown one or maybe black with some white accents. That's kind of what I discovered. But these are definitely a hit. If you already own like regular cowboy boots and you're looking for a very fun pair, these are definitely it, but I should warn you, they were the most expensive at 115 euros, but they're often on sale. <laughs> I cut my hand on the book. Okay, what do we have here? <laughs> you know, I didn't realize that if you're going to order boots, then they're going to come in giant boxes and therefore the packaging boxes are also going to be giant. So I'm not even sure how I'm going to take these back to the post office, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. So I think these may be the coolest ones. Well, maybe apart from those metallics, but look at these. These I got through Zalando, but they're actually from Bershka. They are the most rigid out of all of them and also they're the only ones that I bought in a size 40. I used to be somewhere in between a 40 and a 41 depending on the type of shoe. I'm starting to realize that I'm actually just a proper 41. I just have very broad feet that are very short. So unless they're a very wide model, definitely just a 41. I these fit like the worst of all of them <laughs> and i can't blame them i mean the shaft is probably even smaller than the other ones and also because they're so rigid and i could definitely not fit my foot in here as well i couldn't even try so yeah that's a shame you should definitely order these in your regular size or maybe even one size up oh i think i i didn't specify this enough so with these from public desire that i started with I felt like they were too small in the foot as well as in the boot area and therefore I feel like if I would order a 42 they might fit me. I think my feet are still too broad but then they would probably fit my leg. 
So I'm just letting you know for people who are a little bit more wide in the cuffs, if you're, or even if you're not, I feel like you should size up in these, unless you have really small feet. That's just my advice. I feel like that may be the case for these as well, but like I said, I tried them a, sm a size too small and I can't really say for sure whether uh, the size that I actually am would still be too small but I'm definitely sure that the leg area would be too small and that's a shame because I feel like these are just so cute they <laughs> they have that traditional stitching over here they have a pretty pointy toe but it's not too long it kind of looks cute I think they have this um, overarching rim over here they have the nice heel that's a little bit longer but not as slanted so i feel like it'd still be good to walk in and then of course the showstopper is this it only has the black accent on the outside on the inside it's just plain white but it still has the white i think this combination of black and white is just really chic and still kind of fun uh, i know it's a western boot but it kind of reminds me of the old dutch homes that we sometimes see where they have these hearts in the windows <laughs> So I think this is just an amazing boot at Bershka. Not the most expensive, I think 70 euros. And it feels quite nice quality. I do see a little bit of glue over here. So I think so far the MTNG is definitely the best brand quality wise. If you're looking at the quality of the toes, MTNG has all the stitching over here. So they'll be more secure and they'll probably last longer. Also, this is a little bit padded, so it'll be really warm and comfortable. These look really nice and they feel really sturdy, but I feel like they might fall apart quicker. Okay, that was box number one. Let's hop into the other pair that I got from MTNG. These I really liked as well. So these are a brown pair, just another classic one. They're definitely a little bit shorter as well, but... They're not quite as short as the pink one. I'm not sure if you can see, but they're just a little bit longer. And it's that one inch that makes it that they don't fit me properly. Because they, they are also a little bit smaller and they bunch up a little bit on my feet. I can still put these on to show you, so I will. And the feet just, they fit so nicely. They feel so good. It actually doesn't even feel uncomfortable. I just think it looks a little bit silly. It looks like my legs are swallowing the, the shoe, <laughs> which I don't think looks very flattering. But if you have slightly smaller calves, then these will probably work for you. These do have the zipper, which makes them super easy to put on. And they have a really nice detailing. That's a little bit cushiony, but it just looks really authentic and vintage to me. And these were definitely a lot more affordable than the metallic ones. I think they were on sale for about 60, but they usually are around 80. And that's just a little bit more than the Bershka ones, but they do have the same stitching details around the shoe. So they will be more durable. They're they probably have the most comfortable heel together with the metallic ones. They're not very slanted. They're not very high. I think for a good, comfortable, affordable cowboy boot, this is definitely a good option. And I think because they're a little bit shorter, they will fit most people, calf-wise. And also, honestly, if I have to compare these two, I feel like these were even more comfortable. No, they're not padded. But for some reason, the fit was just amazing. So I think, let's just look at the toes. Yeah, I think they're a little bit more generous in the toe area. And they're a little bit shorter and my feet are definitely short for their size. So I think these are a really nice option. And the last pair of cowboy boots that I want to show you are my favorite. I'm pretty sure they are, but they're also the most disappointing because I'll never fit into these. I just know I won't. They're these awesome white cowboy boots. Very high, very tall, quite a high heel. They're from Steve Madden. They're actually one of my favorite shoe brands because I know they dupe a lot of other brands, but they do it in a more affordable way and also without using... Well, most of their shoes don't contain any leather. So I really like their, their shoes. 
I just, I love a white shoe. I don't really own any. I have cream, I have beige, sort of light beige. So I'm getting there. But I would really like a proper white shoe like this. This is a really, I think this is by far the longest one and also one of the more smaller ones. So I really will never fit into these. These are definitely more for regular to small calves. And I think if you have really small calves, these will still look very pretty because they're so long. And they'll slouch a little bit around your legs, which I think looks really cool with a cowboy. Their toe is quite regular, I'd say. Not too pointy, not too wide. I really like the heel. It is a little bit more slanted and it's a little bit more high. If you look up close, it does have the stitching, but it's quite a sleek, nice boot that has all the cowboy elements, but can also pass for just a nice winter white boot for with a white dress with a white sweater. I was just envisioning a whole look with these. So yeah, these are my biggest disappointment. But they're very pretty. I think usually these are the most expensive at about one, 145 euros. But I feel like they're always on sale because I got them for like 90. So in the end they were even more affordable than the metallic. So yeah, just take a good look if you can get them on a discount. But I think they're worth every penny. Except that of course I can't say how they wear or how they walk. They just, they feel very nice quality. They have a bit of a sturdier nose area. They also have the stitching around the toes and yeah, this whole area. So it's more secure. They have the little tab on the heel so it doesn't um, diminish as fast. I feel like these are really nice quality and they're beautiful. So I knew this would happen. Now I'm surrounded by pretty shoes and most of them don't fit and the ones that do fit are actually not quite what I'm looking for and no, I'm not going to keep them just because they fit. I really won't. I'm going to return all of these. But since I thought there was a high probability that this would happen, I thought I'd throw myself a bone and also order a pair of ballet flats. I've been really into these as well. So I was doing my order from H&M and I ordered these two from Monkey. They're a little bonus item in this video. I got the satin gold pair and a red pair. I'll show you these on my feet as well. And I did not too long ago also go get these ballet flats, which have the proper bows and more of the, I'm not sure how you call this, but like the gathered toe area so these are really cute but I really like these I did a little short with them where I tried this same look but with little socks and those shoes and I thought it looked very pretty so I wanted to expand my ballet flat collection so I think I'll keep both of these they were 35 euros at monkey and yeah they fit really nicely they look really nice I'm not sure about the quality they're glued but they are vegan, so that's nice. It's actually, it says so on the sole. And I think red is going to be a very nice color for the season. I even think red looks really nice with this dress, with this look. And also, of course, you can't go wrong with a nice setting cream pair. Yeah, I'll be satisfied with those for now. Next week, I'll go to Antwerp with my mom and I'll check out if there are more boots that are like this, except maybe in a more accessible color. If I do find any of them, I'll show you in a collective haul real soon. So with that, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of fun to show you all these boots, even though I'm surrounded by boxes at the moment. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you liked the video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.